uh, 6.45 a.m. and we're heading out to Crook Peak, or Crook's Peak as it's uh, termed. It's, uh, it's a hill in Somerset and we're hoping to get out there before the sun rises. It's a beautiful morning. I think the temperature is going to be about 16 or 17, which is unseasonably warm for uh, November. So we've just come through uh, Axbridge, or we've come down the Axbridge bypass, and we are now heading across the main A38 trunk road, through Cross, up to where I'm going to park the car. Quite a few people, uh, I think, camping here, but also uh, up to the peak to uh, see the sunrise. Yeah, Crook Peak National Trust. Always shut the gates. There are sheep and uh, cattle that uh, roam this land here. So, where there's gates, always keep the gates shut. There's a bit of a breeze, but uh, as I said, I think the uh, sun's going to shine. Listening to the to, listening to the news this morning, they're still talking about it being unseasonably uh, mild for this time of year. I mean, after all, we are into the um, to the second week of November now, where normally you'd expect frost and very cold in the mornings. But it's nothing like that. Nothing at all. You can see the uh, you see the low flying clouds over there moving across the hills quite fast. So there is a breeze. And very misty over there. Lots of contrails in the skies these days. Very different to how it was a year ago. I think the last time I came up here must have been three years ago. Maybe three years ago when the uh, just before or just after the Covid started, must have been just before I think, and uh, I came up here with my friends Jason and Sarah, it's been a long time, we've had, uh, I left the country to go and settle into the Philippines, it didn't quite work out as planned. I did travel around and see quite a bit. My brother is not very well with uh, the big sea, sadly. So I'm back in the UK, spending time with him and his family, and of course my family too. What does the future hold? Only God knows that answer. But we'll see. There is a slight breeze, but if it comes across on the camera as being a howling gale, it's actually not. I remember a few months ago getting up every day around 5.30, 5 o'clock um, when I was in the Philippines. Um, 
you go to bed early and you get up early. And uh, I'd be out walking every single day. Up to maybe 10, 12,000 steps. But of course, totally different temperature over there. It was uh, sweltering 24 hours a day. It uh, hovered around 30 to 32 with no change really. Not even when it rained. So by the time I'd uh, got my shorts on and I was out the door maybe 10 or 15 minutes, it was dripping. No complaints, I loved it. And the exercise was good. But I'm back in the UK now and making the most of where we are. Doing as much uh, exercise as possible. Of course, uh, the family having a dog and John's family having a dog. And now my grandson and his partner, Megan, they've got a dog. No shortage of exercise. Um, I'll post a, a couple of short videos with the dogs on for those who animal lovers. It's an easy walk, it's not uh, too taxing, uphill yes but it's not mountains. Sun's beginning to come up, ah oh, there it is. Sunrise on the peak. So we're just experiencing this sunrise. Not quite up yet, but sadly, although it does give it a bit of a mystery.
dead center. I can see the trip point from here.
painting, the views and the exercise. Really worth it. Windy, actually a bit cold. Coffee. Coffee. Uh, you can hear there's no uh, no wind at all down here. Clearly, obviously, and uh, <laughs> where would there be? No wind at all now. Now we're right down the bottom again. Winding our way back to the car. And another good uh, another good early morning walk. Good for the health and good for the mind. early morning hike up at Crook Peak. A bit chilly, nice hot coffee. Hope you enjoy the video.